In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold an origami star dedicated to Doris Lauinger, as designed by Klaus Dieter N. I also dedicate this video to Doris, um, an origami friend who is now um, a new star in the sky. Um, diagrams for this star um, are available in Klaus Dieter Ennen's book, The Biggest Ever Book of Origami Stars, which is um, both in English and German, and as well on his website origamist.de. Now, if you start with a square, uh, that has a side length of 15 centimeters uh, or 6 inches, then the resulting star will have a diameter, kind of this distance, of about 10 and a half centimeters or 4 and eighth of an inch. This star I actually folded from smaller paper, so the star would be slightly bigger than this. It's a dual color model, so the center has a different color than uh, these tips. And I'm going to start with um, the yellow side down to get a star that has yellow spikes and a blue center. So we're first going to fold the paper in half diagonally by bringing point to point. Unfold, rotate, and repeat. Unfold, now rotate and fold edge to edge. Unfold, rotate, and repeat. Unfold, and now fold edge to central crease. Unfold, rotate, and repeat. Now we're going to take um, this corner down here and bring it to that intersection of the creases, which is kind of one quarter in. And crease. And repeat three more times. Now we're going to flip the paper over and then bring each of the corners to the center. And we're going to keep those folded. Now we're going to kind of take one finger and um, go on that crease right here and pinch the two edges together, just like that. And the next one. And the next one, and the next one. Once we've got that, we're going to push from both sides and also the other two sides to kind of push this together. And we can push this together farther even. You can see I can grab it um, even more kind of in the center so that we actually collapse this down like that. So let me show you again. We've kind of got this, then we're pinching it together, pinching it together on all four sides, and then we're going to push it together so that we go along these creases right here and right there, which kind of form this small quarter square. Pushing it together and then laying it down. And next we're going to have to work on each of these flaps so we can fold them to one direction or the other. It doesn't matter too much. And next we're just going to work on each of these to form the spikes. So we're first going to form this spike right here. And I'm just going to rotate the model so that we have kind of that flap to work on. 
First we're going to um, fold this edge to that crease line right here. I'm just going to put that out of the way. Um, especially in this step you want to be very precise to get um, a very nice finished model. And there's kind of these extra layers of paper which means you can't bend the paper in any way you want uh, because uh, it might rip. So you kind of have to be a little bit careful but you want to crease so that this edge aligns with that edge. So I'm aligning it, kind of pushing in here, partially opening the model. And then getting a very nice tip with really precise alignment. And then I'm going to go inside up to that point right there. There's a crease line, kind of a horizontal one. And you only have to crease up to that point. If you go a bit farther, it's okay too. And then you can see here, that's where the crease stops. And we do the same thing on the other side. This one is a bit easier. Again, try to get a very nice tip and nice alignment. And then we're going to just fold this inside and squish it together. It will be visible in a moment again. And same thing on this flap. One side is a bit locked here. And we crease. And the other one is again a little easier. Now once we have that, we can again pop this inside and fold it over. Now I'm going to rotate this again. Now we're going to open this flap right here and go inside all the way and press it flat. The creases are already in place so it should be really easy. Finally we're going to make um, a petal fold on this section and again it's not as easy as it usually is because um, there's paper here that locks everything together. That's why we'll be doing a small squash fold here. But let's first start with the petal fold for this. Um, kind of, uh, there's going to be a small crease right between these two points here. So I'm opening um, this, uh, this small preliminary base, I guess, um, right at that point. And then I'm going to bring uh, this edge to that central parting and this edge is going to go to that crease line. So pushing it open, then we really want nice precision here. I'm just going to take this top flap and not that extra layer. And I'm going to bend it so that I can start aligning. And to align it here, and in the top, simultaneously, it's easier that way, I find. And try to get a very nice tip. And then start pushing it flat. Then go to the other side. And again, kind of push this to the center. Try to get these two sides to match up nicely to get a good end result so that um, not a lot of well here the blue is showing and get nice alignment in the bottom here in the center too now once you're um, at that point uh, we can do the squash fold and completely flatten this so you have a small crease on here and you're going to align it with that parting right here to get a very nice symmetrical look. Can you see that? I'm just going to squash this so that it aligns perfectly and then press down on each side. And same on the other side. And then hopefully these two points will match up or almost match up. And then I'm just going to make these creases stronger. And as you can see here, almost no blue is visible 
and that's what we really want. And then continue with the other three spikes. And once you've completed all four sides, your star doors is all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it brings you enjoyment and a bit of light, uh, just like Doris did to many of us. Thanks so much and bye bye.